Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Templar and welcome back. And today for this video on the month of March of Celtic Month, we are actually going to be talking about how, did Celtic warriors really fight naked? Now I know the YouTube's going to be a little asinine about this. Don't worry YouTube, there is, you are completely safe about this because this is a Roman myth. Now I hear you already. Templar, what do you mean this is a Roman myth? Well, this is what you might call a Shakespearean tale. In fact, it's kind of like this. In the ancient world, the term meaning of one thing means something different today. For example, the Romans and Greeks, their term meaning of naked was meaning of a type of form of stating that they fought lightly armed. Now, that's stating something that they fought lightly armored, they fought technically practically almost naked, but in truth they weren't. Now, what does this mean by lightly armored? Well, this could be seen with, say, padded armor, leather, or even the frequent of light uh, bronze cuirasses. Now, that's actually stating something. In fact, male armor is actually another view of light armor, compared to that of what, well, the Romans viewed as the Lorica Semitarta as being heavy armor. And of which, this is actually being of a type of version of history. In fact, the story goes in history books that the Celts actually were supposedly a barbaric group that actually fought well naked in the process. But in truth, in general, this is actually majorly inaccurate. However, this is actually stated to be not meant for battlefield use, but actually a duel use. Now, what do I mean by a duel? Well, it actually can be seen when Celtic warrior, like say, one Celtic warrior fights against a one single Roman or Greek warrior. And as well, we can actually see this in the years of the very late Bronze Age and early Iron Age, sometime after the Persians came, had come to the lands of Greece. Now, it's actually been stated that the Celtic warriors, actually under the command of a Celtic chieftain, North of Macedonia, actually were stated to have actually come down and as well raided many parts of the said Greek regions. And so the Spartans, who were actually allied to a said Greek region, actually later on marched up north in order to halt this advance towards their homeland. It was stated though that a compromise was actually could be seen between the two cultures in order for there not to be a full slaughter. It was stated that one Spartan champion was to fight against another Celtic champion. And as well, this can actually be seen when they actually negotiated on a type of rule system of their armor and equipment. However, seeing the difference between them, it was actually stated that the two warriors were to fight with no armor of any type, just not even a helmet, not even a cuirass, but not even mail, just, well, plain bare-chested while holding a shield, sword, and spear, and maybe even a two javelin. Now, it is stated, though, that while doing this, it was stated that they would actually use this armor this type of way in fighting as an equal. However, if we know one thing, the Celtic warrior would have used a tower shield, while the Spartan hoplite would have used a hoplite shield. However, it is stated though the two warriors would have fought in such ferocious figure that they were stated to have actually bo used both their spears, and including even have actually used their swords, and were actually relied on actually fighting with none other than their shields. When their shields broke, they used their fists. Now it actually stated that the fight was a draw, and as well both forces, well, left from the engagement, and as well the fight laid uncontinued for another year until the two same said warriors face each other off again, and again, and again for a whole five years until both of them accidentally killed each other with their said spears. So, yeah, we could see of how this would have actually been done. This was an honorable way. This was champion versus champion. So in truth, in fact, the only time a Celtic warrior would have probably fought naked, or supposedly naked, would technically be, well, with uh, another said champion. In other words, it would be a champion-on-champion -champion battle. Now, we are told, though, from historical manuscripts that there were sometimes Celtic warriors of many tribes that, in a massive horde of Celtic warriors, that it was actually stated that Celtic, Celtic warriors actually charged out, demanding a fight between one-on-one. -on -one. This was stated by a Roman legionnaire who have actually fought against them at the Battle of Alia, in which it was stated that these warriors wore no armor, not even a helmet, only a shield, sword, and spears. Now that's actually stating something. However, if we know from history books, the Romans fled and got massacred. 
in fact, it's only been stated once or twice that our Celtic Gallic Legionnaire or Auxiliary Soldier would have actually even accepted a champion on champion fight against a Celtic people in Britannia. However, this was during the Claudian invasion, of which was technically nearly outlawed. However, it is stated though that this would have actually ended further conflicts with the said group. Now, in truth in general though, the term meaning behind the story of which the Romans actually protruded as all Celtic warriors fought naked would have actually been false. In fact, this as we put it today is different compared to our modern day tongue compared to the old tongue. In fact, it's kind of like say if we were to speak say modern English in Shakespearean times of which is extremely different, compared that to our modern day understanding or speaking. In truth in general, we would be alienated. In other words, our form of English would be different. It's kind of like if we were to speak Old English, which was Germanic, compared to our modern English, if, like where you're speaking right now. Of which, that explains it. So in truth in general, the Celtic war would not have fought naked. In truth, he would have actually fought lightly armored of which ancient Greeks and Romans stated the following, that they would have fought practically naked. And this does not mean that they did fight naked, this does mean that they fought lightly armored. In fact, uh, Mike Lodes even explains this on in a series that was actually supposed to be about the Turdeburg Forest with the Germanic warriors who also did the same thing, which were also Celto-Germanic type Celtic people. In truth in general, Celtic warriors would have actually fought well, lightly armored. So, yeah, there is not that much artwork showing Celtic warriors in armor, which is kind of a disappointment, because that's actually how they would have fought. In fact, no human being ever in history would ever fight bare butt naked. That's like technically saying that we're still a Stone Age civilization. Now, here's the thing, the Jaguars and Native Americans, they didn't fight bare butt naked, but yet when we take a look at the information complied by, say, other cultures, say, like, I want to say, like, maybe the United States during the late 1800s, trying to actually make them view the Native Americans and savages, when in truth they were not, or as the Spanish, as they conquered the people of, well, the Incas and such, which that explains a lot. Now, though, if we do understand the history about the Celts in which they are fought, it's actually stated that the Romans called them this in order to be a, like a political type game. In which, to make the Celts look, well, unhuman, to make them look uncivilized, to make them look, well, not in generally smart at all. But in truth, if we know one thing, and hopefully all learn one thing from this, that the Celts did not fight bare butt naked. In fact, there are many statues of Celtic warriors being naked for some reason just to show that they can be conquered and easily destroyed. But in truth, if we know one thing, these are all just Roman idealistic ideas, of which are extremely different compared to the truth. So yeah, next time people in Hollywood or whatever, if you're going to make a film about Celtic warriors and showing them, or even trying to paint Celtic warriors, please do them with light armor. Anyways guys, hopefully you liked this video. If you do, let me know in the comments below. Also click that bell button for notifications and click that like button. And also subscribe to the channel if you are new here. And hopefully all you can actually catch more of my videos very soon. Also check out our Facebook, so that way you can be notified of a next video that's going to come up. Anyways guys, it's been Templar. Have a great day.